Just NASA says its Voyager 1 probe, the most distant human-made object in the universe. In the boundless depths of space, where silence reigns and stars glimmer like scattered diamonds on velvet, Voyager 2 has once again defied expectations. Launched in 1977, this aging yet indomitable spacecraft has spent nearly five decades traversing the solar system and beyond, pushing through cosmic boundaries that once seemed unreachable. Its latest transmission, however, has stunned scientists and ignited fresh wonder across the global scientific community. Voyager 2 has detected a phenomenon so inexplicable, so outside the realm of anticipated cosmic mechanics, that it challenges long-held theories about the interstellar medium and the very nature of deep space. After years of quiet drifting through the seemingly featureless interstellar void, the spacecraft encountered a structured and dynamic region that shouldn't exist, an area characterized by complex magnetic activity, unpredicted particle flows, and density variations that contradict everything known about the supposed calm of space beyond the heliopause. Before we start, smash the like and subscribe buttons for more updates. This discovery occurred as Voyager 2 continued its journey far beyond the influence of the sun's solar wind, well past the heliosphere, the vast bubble of charged particles emitted by the sun. Once the spacecraft passed through the heliopause in November 2018, scientists believed it had entered a tranquil, stable environment known as the local interstellar medium. The expectation was that Voyager 2 would now coast through a largely uniform expanse of low-energy particles and magnetic fields. Instead, the spacecraft began registering bursts of high-frequency plasma waves and strange fluctuations in the magnetic field. It was as if Voyager 2 had plunged into a hidden sea of turbulence, where eddies and currents churned through what was assumed to be an inert cosmic ocean. The instruments on board recorded sudden increases in electron density, abrupt shifts in magnetic field orientation, and energy signatures unlike anything previously observed. The data revealed something profound. The space outside the heliosphere isn't as passive as once imagined. Voyager 2 had stumbled upon an active boundary zone, an area where the interstellar medium and solar influence don't merely blend gently, but instead collide and interact violently. This region appears to be governed by forces not fully understood, suggesting that the interface between solar and interstellar domains is more chaotic and dynamic than models ever predicted. Even more astonishing was the realization that these energetic regions seem to form spontaneously and locally, meaning they're not the result of far-off astrophysical events like supernovae, but are instead generated by interactions occurring at the very edge of our solar system. Further analysis hinted at a startling possibility that these interactions may be influencing the shape and behavior of the heliosphere itself. For decades, the heliosphere was imagined as a teardrop or comet-like shape, trailing behind the sun as it moves through the galaxy. But the new data suggests that the heliosphere might be much more irregular and ever-changing. In fact, the magnetic turbulence observed by Voyager 2 implies that interstellar magnetic fields are pressing against the heliosphere from unexpected directions, warping its shape, and even affecting the trajectory of cosmic rays attempting to penetrate the solar system. These cosmic rays, high-energy particles originating from distant galaxies, were long believed to be deflected in a predictable manner. Now, Voyager 2's readings suggest they are navigating a chaotic and turbulent frontier with unpredictable paths shaped by localized distortions in space-time. This discovery has opened up an entirely new understanding of our solar neighborhood. The boundary between our solar system and the rest of the galaxy is not a static line, but a battleground of forces and particles in constant motion. These findings are prompting astrophysicists to revisit and rewrite the models that define the interaction between solar winds and the interstellar medium. What was once seen as a clear transition from one domain to another has now become a murky zone of dynamic activity, replete with energy exchanges and structural shifts. Voyager 2, operating on less computing power than a modern smartphone, has pierced the veil and revealed that deep space is far more alive than previously thought. The implications of this are vast. For one, understanding this turbulent region is critical for the safety of future interstellar probes and manned missions. If these energetic zones are common, then spacecraft designs will need to account for unexpected plasma surges, magnetic disorientation, and particle bombardment. Beyond engineering, 
This discovery reshapes the very narrative of how our solar system fits into the galaxy. It suggests that the Sun's influence might extend farther, and in more intricate ways than ever imagined, intertwining with galactic forces in a symphony of cosmic interactions. Even more tantalizing is what this could mean for the broader cosmos. If such turbulence and structure exist at the edge of our heliosphere, then it likely exists at the boundaries of countless other stellar systems. This raises questions about the universality of these boundary dynamics. Could these energetic borderlands influence the development of planetary systems? Could they shape how life-supporting elements such as water or organic molecules travel through the galaxy? And if these regions are indeed common, do they serve as natural filters or accelerators for cosmic rays and other interstellar matter? Voyager 2's data also suggests the presence of what some researchers have begun to call magnetic walls, zones of highly concentrated magnetic pressure that deflect and channel particles in unpredictable ways. These walls may serve as natural boundaries within the interstellar medium itself, segmenting space into invisible partitions where energy and matter flow differently. If proven, this could transform our understanding of the galaxy's structure, indicating that interstellar space is not a homogeneous vacuum, but rather a highly partitioned landscape sculpted by magnetic forces and ancient cosmic events. The implications extend into the realms of quantum physics and cosmology, offering potential insights into how space-time is shaped on both local and galactic scales. Another riveting element of Voyager 2's discovery involves the acoustic phenomena it encountered. While space is a vacuum, certain types of waves, especially plasma waves, can still propagate through the thin material that does exist. The spacecraft's plasma wave subsystem detected high-pitched oscillations that seem to sing in a range not previously recorded in the interstellar medium. These sound-like vibrations suggest the presence of dense, wave-rich pockets where energy is being transferred in ways that defy classical mechanics. It could be that these regions serve as cosmic conduits or reservoirs of energy, possibly influencing the movement of charged particles and radiation through deep space. The idea that space could carry a hidden vibrational structure, a kind of cosmic harmony, adds an eerie beauty to an already astonishing discovery. Voyager 2 has become a lone witness to a new frontier of astrophysics, peering into a segment of the universe that no other human-made object has explored in such detail. Its data stream is a time capsule from a realm we may not physically reach for centuries. And yet, its revelations are already changing how we view our cosmic surroundings. The spacecraft's endurance and sensitivity are nothing short of miraculous, allowing it to detect minute variations in particle density and magnetic flux that even Earth-bound observatories would struggle to register. In this sense, Voyager 2 is not just a scientific instrument, it is a storyteller, whispering back secrets from the void, uncovering the unseen gears of the galaxy. What stands out most in this discovery is how it complicates the concept of interstellar space as a simple backdrop. The traditional view saw deep space as an almost featureless stretch punctuated only by stars and occasional dust clouds. But Voyager 2's findings show that this space is rich with structure, dynamics, and unexpected behavior. It is not an empty corridor, but an intricate web of fields, flows, and interactions that challenge every preconceived notion. The spacecraft has uncovered an environment where the laws of motion, energy, and magnetism intertwine in exotic ways, an environment shaped by forces ancient and ongoing, mysterious and profound. The scientific community is now racing to interpret the full extent of this discovery. Laboratories and universities around the world are poring over Voyager 2's data, running complex simulations to model what might be happening at the solar system's frontier. Some theories speculate that what Voyager 2 encountered may be evidence of large-scale galactic magnetic fields influencing our local space environment. Others propose that remnants of ancient stellar explosions may be subtly imprinting their energy signatures on this region. Still others suggest that unknown forms of plasma behavior, perhaps governed by as-yet undiscovered physical principles, are at play. Each possibility opens a new doorway into the mechanics of the universe. What Voyager 2 has done is more than gather data. It has confronted humanity with the unknown. For decades, the spacecraft has traveled a lonely road into the deep dark, a symbol of human curiosity and perseverance. 
Its impossible discovery has turned a cold frontier into a rich frontier, one bursting with energy, secrets, and the thrilling promise of the unknown. If you liked this video, please give it a like and subscribe to our channel. Also, leave your comments below and tell us, what are your thoughts on Voyager 2's impossible discovery? What do you expect? We want to hear from you. Thank you for watching and see you next time.